Libra. This will be a message for Libra. All right, spirit's in the house. Spirit is in the house, and you're gonna learn today. Spirit has a. Uh, spirit's gonna do this. They gotta. There's a lesson plan here. I listen. I'm just an interpreter for what is being said. All right. Um, I am doing you and the person you're dealing with, and on your mind right now, I do see that you are thinking about the family. Yeah. Definitely, 10-10. Uh, your attitude, this Libra has a good family. You know, Clarence's parents came from a good family. And that's what I see, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Um, you know, your attitude is somebody here that is spoiled, spoiled rotten. You know, there's a good family. If somebody comes from a good family, they did not struggle. This is somebody who didn't have struggles that other people do. Uh, you were loved. Your parents are possibly still together. Um, they come from money. And your attitude reflects it. You're kind of uh, spoiled. What is in the heart of Libra? The heart of Libra. Thanks. All right. Well, yeah, your heart... Um, there's some competition. It could be among the family, you know. Um, whatever union, you know, if this is a you and your person, right? Whatever union you're in, you're very happy. And there's money in this union, big money. This is somebody, uh, maybe a combined income of 100000 you know what I mean? Which ain't much these days, but... There is a night, here's what I'm gonna tell you, whatever, for whatever area that you live in, okay, because it depends where you live, what is considered a good income. If you're living in certain parts of the United States, 100 grand is nothing. You're not gonna survive there. Uh, certain parts of the United States, this is a decent living on a combined income. Um, it's like the average, uh, United States average, which you should be making, right? Um, this is a, you know, y'all don't have everything, but you don't want for nothing. In your heart, there's some competition, right? I think you do your best to, like, if your heart starts to grow jealous or competitive, you're doing your best to, um, stay conflict-free, right? Because it's like, yeah, okay. I know that people, I know there's competition when they see a couple that look this good. This is a good looking couple, okay? Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, y'all shining out here. This is something, I mean, but not significantly in the sense like, it's just your, I don't want to call it average, but it's just like y'all have a nice home. You have nice things, you got two reliable vehicles, maybe three or four. But you, you know, you're not wanting for much. And somebody here sleeps real easy at night. There's some competition around you, but you're com you're not worried about it. You know the truth. This person, I see it. You know, even if there is competition around you, you're not worried about it because you know the truth. You know, this is a good family and we don't want for nothing. Of course, there's going to be competition around this, but... I don't really study the competition because I, I know the truth of it. What is the past? Can I get the past? And you might even have to tell yourself this, you know, like, because sometimes the mind runs away with us, but the heart is like, mm, slay your role. Don't, um, it's called, um, oh man, picking and choosing my battles wisely. I see a battle here and it's like, you know what? It's not worth the fight. It just isn't. There's, it's like, you know what? Do I sense a little bit of effery? Yeah. But in your heart, it's like, it's not, it's not worth the fight. I know the truth. I know somebody here on a strong connection, real strong. Yeah, your head's in love and your your attitude is like, you know, I am so content. Like, what I'm trying to say is if this is a scale, because Libras are known for the scales, 
the good outweighs the bad is what I'm, it, I gotta pick and choose my battles here. I know the truth. I get it, man. What's going on with the past? What's going on with the past? Yeah, y'all came up, moving on up <laughs> to the east side. You might, <laughs> yeah, y'all took advantage. Y'all, y'all doing, in the past, y'all took advantage of some type of new uh, job opportunity. Some uh, some type of new business opportunity came upon you. Y'all took advantage of it, and you're sitting quite lovely. What's going on in the present? What's going on in the present moment? Yeah. Feels like Christmas, you know? It's like, man, I, I got a good man. I got a good woman. We make a combined very good income. We're a good team. And... Um, this just feel in the past like somebody here hit the jackpot it's like when i met my person i feel like i hit the jackpot what is the uh present looking like can i get the present please thanks oh shit. well we're gonna touch on this a little bit more because i'm pulling the ace of wands in reverse so there's some disappointment here something here and I see it in your heart space and you have tried to I'm not gonna say ignore it you see it it's very toxic it's unhealthy there's rivalry and competition okay and it's this stuff here that's clouding the joy of the union might be money issues. I can't see how that is when I got an ace of pentacles and an ace of, and a uh, ten of pen. How y'all have my, I don't, this feels like, um, what's going on in the future? Something here is clouding the joy of this couple. That's what I'm going to tell you. Where's the future? business opportunity here but there's something clouding the joy of it and in the future I'm seeing investment like um this is long-term health wealth and happiness for not just you and your person but all of us me and kids uh, us and the children but there's something going on in the future that's going to require quite an investment that could be why we are cloud. That's clouded our joy in the current moment. It's like, man, how much is it? Well, how much do we got to come up off of? Say in your savings account combined, you two been, you know, you have a joint, whatever, whatever. Let's just say this is going to require a huge cash deposit, huge. Because in the future, I'm seeing somebody here is going to make some type of investment. Well, an investment's going to require a deposit and a contract that says, okay, not only do you, you're going to agree to terms and conditions is what I'm saying. What will help? What will help? It's clouding the joy of whatever this is. If this is a purchase, um, it's clouding the joy because you two kind of, agree to disagree and someone here kind of just they give in because it's like you know what i gotta pick and choose my battles here all right what's going on what would help Damn. that's what y'all gave me for what will help um Shekinah. Somebody here has been keeping the peace 
it's like I'm picking and choose my bat. I gotta pick and choose my battles, you know? It's just not worth it. I know the truth, I know this person loves me, and I know we got a lot on the line, we got a lot to lose. But, and then in the past, I'm seeing where somebody here, y'all kind of, I don't know if it was the meeting of the couple, but what I'm saying is when this couple got together, there was um, somebody here hit the jackpot. It was like both ways, both of you all, this is uh, Clarence's parents have a very nice marriage. But there's something clouding the joy, and it has to do with this big investment, the big purchase we're making. Whatever the terms and the conditions are, it not only does it require a lot of money, it's going to require a lot of time. But somebody here is choosing to keep the peace because they don't want the headache of the argument, the fighting. What will help is the tower. Something needs to hit the fan here. I think somebody here is kind of being a coward because it's like they, they're trying to avoid the conflict. Spirit's saying it's a matter of time before shit hits the fan, and I'm sorry for cussing, but there's really, you know, what's going to happen? It's a matter of time. What will help is if you go ahead and get this tower moment out the way because it's a matter of time before whatever meant, is meant to come out will come out. And when it does, it's going to hit the fan and it will hinder the progress of all that was hated. I think somebody here is keeping a good deal of stuff to themselves and your partner's picked up on it, but it's picking and choosing my battles and I don't want to really touch on it because this person's going to see it one way, I'm going to see it another, and it's just not worth it. Uh, I know the truth is my, I, I love my person, my person loves me. I mean, we, you know, honey, and furthermore, Libra, you do know the truth. Even if there is some effery going on, you know the truth. You know it. But it's clouding our joy. What will help is if you go ahead and rip the band-aid off, rip it off, because it's a matter of time anyway, and it's going to hinder, like if this person has to find out on their own, is how it's being described, because when they have, in a matter of time, if you don't, if you don't pop this off, and be real with this person, Ace of Swords, you don't tell the truth about what's been going on behind the scenes, because you don't want to create division argument make this person feel like they're uncomfortable if you don't okay if you do not just you know what i gotta rip the band-aid off and i'm about to suffer the consequences of my actions okay or whatever's going on with you it's a matter of time before your person finds out on their own at the, at which point this person will act a whole ass they gonna act a whole fool i'm just letting you know what will hinder Here's what's going to happen. This person, if they have to find out on their own, and it's a matter of time before they do, they're going to act a whole ass. This person will be a whole be a whole clown. Because this person will feel like they were played. I got nine to one. This person will get super angry. They're going to feel like you've been playing games. They're going to think back on all the community. They're going to think back on everything you ever, ever said. You see what I'm saying? They're going to think back, four of swords on the eight of one. They're going to think back on every message, everything you ever said to them. And they're going to think about the stability that y'all have. They're going to think that it's all a big illusion. Like all the resources I've put into this in the past. This person's going to get angry and feel like you've been playing with their emotions. Straight up. And then it's going to make them rethink everything you ever said. And that is how trust is broken in a blink of an eye because I see what's going on here. You were just trying to pick and choose your battles. And at the heart of things, here's what, I think you're in agreement because it's 10 of cups, 10 of pinnacles, and you're in agreement with this person, right? And your person may be calling out some crap, but you're, try, you're just kind of going with the flow because I got to pick and choose my battles. As what, to, as what will help, Spirit gave me the tower, and I was like, yo, you got to be kidding me. The tower's going to help this? Yeah, see, we're going to we're gonna have to rip this band-aid off because there's a lot of clouded joy here. Do you understand? You got three of the best freaking cards I could give you. Ten of Cups, 
Ten of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody who's met their person. Y'all got a whole family out here. Clarence's parents got a nice marriage. And y'all got Ace of Pentacles, which means y'all got good jobs. You made good money. Y'all could be business owners. Like, you're highly blessed and highly favored, is what I'm say. But something's clouding that joy. Well, what is it? Well, see, in the future, there's a large deposit, a large purchase coming up. Well, what could possibly be so devastating? Well, you tell me. Because your person's going to feel awful played and they're going to recount every time you ever lie. You see, you in your heart, you only lie one time. But to this person, you've lied every day since that lie. And now they're going to recount everything you've ever said to them. And that is how trust is broken. It's, it's gone in a split second, man. It takes so long to build, and it can be gone in a split second. And this person will act a whole clown. They're going to they're gonna act a whole asshole. The, I mean, furniture will get moved around. I got the Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. This person will not yeah. Now, I think that's why you've been trying to avoid conflict. You know this person. Like this person, when they find out, whatever this when this band-aid pops off, I think what's what per, ugh, what spirit's trying to say, because you did get the spirit guide card. What they're trying to say is it's gonna sound better coming from you if they gotta hear it elsewhere. They gotta hear it at the bank. If they got because you had that big ass and excuse me, that big investment. Don't let them find this out at the bank. Don't let them find this out sitting in an office someplace. That's all I can say. All right. your person what is going on with your person I see y'all highly in love y'all together you really got a good relationship I don't I just see this as an everyday struggle type of stuff yeah, your person's by the book I'm not going to take the card but I'm going to take it as a side note because I don't like to do that to my team on a side note your person is is stupid smart Stupid smart. Um, they are highly intelligent, but they might lack street knowledge, street sense. I'm not sure. Or it's vice versa. This person got a lot of street sense, but not a lot of book smarts. And you, you know what I mean? It's it's either one, be the one is what I'm trying to tell you. But your person's by the book, and they're stubborn, and it's gonna be real hard to get anything past this person. And you know exactly how your person feels about certain topics. That's what I'm saying. person sees you as um your person i feel like it's a female energy because they're telling me that they re they regard you as alpha omega they see you as the alpha this person's never been happier and they're so happy to take i hate to say this because um i don't want you to take advantage of this person but this person would do whatever you say. They trust you wholeheartedly. This person looks up to you. They admire you as a father figure. I don't know if you're probably the father of the kids. If you're not, they admire your wisdom and your tradition, and this person looks up to you. You two have a great time together, and this person literally would probably, like, if you made it, <laughs> what was the thing where... Well, if this person jumped off a bridge, would you? In this case, yeah, this person would. This person's put a lot of, they're willing to, they're down with whatever you're down with. Let me put it to you like that. Yeah. What is the attitude of this person? Say that wrong. It's the heart. It's the heart. Oh, man. 
UK. Your person feels like all right. Their attitude is they're not investing. Okay, so their per your person's thinking about how a traditional marriage. How, how it goes, you know what I mean? Like, you know, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby and baby carriage. Your person has a way of navigating relationships. And they see that y'all having a good time and this person's took risk with you, but they're taking risk like risk that you would take with a husband. And this person feels like they're not investing anymore. Either that or you're not. But somebody here is not investing enough or anymore. And their heart, they feel like they're an option. And that is not a good place to be. They see a gentleman, okay? They see a gentleman that's very capable of being a husband. Y'all have a great time together. And for what it's worth, I think that you two have done a lot of new experiences together. I don't know if you've bought a new home, but y'all took, y'all were taking marriage family type of experience. Like y'all taking a lot of risks together. You're doing stuff that husband and wives do. This person's attitude is like they've done enough without a ring almost. I don't know if that's the case, but this person just isn't investing anymore. And in their heart, they feel like someone here is considering their options, okay? Can I get the past? Can I get the past? Because, all right. They see that you're capable of being very traditional. They see, like, they see it. They see you being strong and traditional in other aspects of your life. But in the past, okay, you wavered. Somebody here wavered. Either it was you or it was them. But in the past, someone's discipline wavered. Their strength wavered. Like, well, hmm. this person started to show doubt. It's strength in a challenged position. It's like, well, is it, is this person who I think they are? I don't know if this was you that started to show doubt, but for whatever reason, this person started to second guess and have doubts. And then they stopped investing. They may have considered their options or they feel like they're just another option. What's going on in the present? Um, I think when, all right, so when you talk to, this person feels like the conversations are very practical, not very deep. And that when you speak, okay, in the present, when y'all speak to each other, it's just about factual information. There's no, you know, it's a kind of a shallow connection. You might just be having talks about the kids. Like, I don't know if those kids y'all share together, but it's kind of like, cut it short. Somebody don't have a lot of time for conversation. Cut it short. Um, it's kind of cold. The way y'all are talking to one another is kind of cold and it's just very, well, have a good day. All right. See you. At, see you when I get off work. It's very dry. Y'all conversation very dry in the present moment. What's going on in the future? That's why this person's having doubts. What's going on in the future?
Yeah, look. You had this in your spread, and spirit was like, yo, whatever's going on that you're trying, you've been trying to keep the peace, and it's like, I got to pick and choose my battles. Well, let me tell you something. In the future, this, the way it's going, here, I'm going to tell you about it. The way it's going right now, if you don't do something to change it, okay, if you don't take this message and run with it, all right? And you just continue on the way things have been going. And you don't have the big kahuna talk here that's going to be the ripping the band-aid off. Because what's about to happen. See, this was in your heart. You already knew there was a lot of competition. There was a lot of um, nastiness going on. There was a lot of conflict that we were trying to pick and choose our battles with. Well, in the future, this happens. This happens. It's going to happen regardless. And when it does, and y'all start beating up on each other about the real problems that are going on here. The doubts that this person's having. They're feeling like an option. They've stopped investing. You know, when this comes out, this person, I've already went over this with you. It will end it. They already feel like your relationship has become very dry. You could just be talking about, I don't know, y'all could just be talking about the kids only. Have a good day. See you at five. And there's nothing else, you know. Because this person's thinking about when they met you, like how much fun they had. Y'all were doing all this cool stuff. You were, this person saw you as the end all be all. This is like, this person admired, this person looked up to you. They looked up to you. They love being around you. They would follow you off the edge of a cliff. But then I'm seeing where someone stopped investing and they feel like they're an option. They kind of got confused. And there's some confusion introduced into this person's heart. And this person started to second guess themselves. This person's experiencing doubts. And then it doesn't help that y'all's communication is so dry. Well, see, whatever's going on here, that we weren't talking about because we were trying to save face, it's going to end this connection. Uh, whatever you need to get off your chest, and it's going to be life-changing. It's going to be a tower moment. It's going to change the relationship. As I said before, I'm going to say it again. You need to do this before this person finds out because when they find out, it will. if they have to hear it from anybody but you, it's going to end things. You need to pray on this, on how you're going to rip off this band-aid. You need to pray about it. Pray on how you're going to just figure out the words, figure out the way. Let me give a suggestion. This is no doubt going to be hard, but the suggestion here with the Five of Swords, mind your tongue, mind your tongue, mind your tongue. Because whatever this is, this is challenging and it's embarrassing. This person's going to feel like they were tricked, that they were, you know, that everything was a big ass, excuse me, everything was a big illusion. This person's going to be going through humiliation because of all this conflict right here. I don't know if this is over a new home. This is hard. This person's going to feel humiliated. We're going to feel played. What will hinder? Watch your judgment. Watch your tongue. You know, whoever I'm talking to, I get it, Libra. You are the scales. So the scales have to balance. And you feel like well, right is right and wrong is wrong. And you have to understand, I was doing this to save you humiliation. I was trying to take the high road. I see that. Like you saw, you know what is actual. You know what's going on. But you were trying to take the high road. And you were trying to do that to save face. Like, I don't want to tell this person the truth about what's going on. Because I don't want to make them uncomfortable. 
I don't want to create doubt. But see, this person's already picked up on the doubt, hon. This is unavoidable. The person has already picked, it's all, there's already doubt here. It's already in your pet. There's already, you know, like trust, I told you before. When this comes out, it will change things, no doubt, with the tower. It's going to. Um, this person is, in their mind, they're going to feel like it's over. They have every right to feel that way. I don't know what we're talking about here. I really don't. It's a 57. This is a fail. With the death card, I'm going to say something. Even if it is over, Spirit's telling me you're going to have a better chance in hell if they heard it from you than someone else. Because this is coming from God. Like, this is an answered prayer. This person, you have to understand that their judgment is on time. I mean, this person's going to feel humiliated. I don't know what's going on, but your person is going to feel humiliated. They're going to feel embarrassed. Do not let this person sit in a bank or in a public place and have to hear about you. They share a bed with you. They ain't nobody in a public place like a bank or a grocery store. They shouldn't have to learn about somebody they share a bed with. What will hinder is it the judgment. It's like, okay, it's done, it's done, good, good. You know what? You better sympathize. I have a funny feeling, Libra, this is your fault. I think you know it's your fault. I don't think I'm telling you anything. And I kind of feel for you. You're, you've been trying so hard to pick and choose your battles. It's like, no, I love this person. I think, great. I don't want to make no waves. Baby, you kind of dug yourself in a hole. Honey, because the person you're dealing with, man... They're going to be so let down. Like they put you on a pedestal. They like, well, if since I jumped off a cliff, would you, this person admire it? Like they look up. Yeah. Huh. I don't know if you promised this money that pro promised this person money that you don't have. I don't know. This person's quite confused. It's created a lot of doubt. I don't know. You tell me. I do not know. I really don't. You better pray on how you're going to get out of this because you really need to be honest about it. I see where you've grown distant and this person feels like you're not investing with them. Time, money, resources. You're not. This person feels like an option and they're very confused. And when you're confused, it creates what? Doubt. Also, your conversations with each other have become very dry. All right, love you, bye. See when I get off. There's no more of this. There's no more. Of, there's no more fun where we were just two carefree kids just living in the moment. Y'all were doing a bunch of cool stuff, and this person, they admire you. Like they respect you. They admire you. You are alpha. Like this person, if you had been like, no, come on, let's go. Like if you had to raise your, let's go. Just like this, we wouldn't have gotten no feedback off this person. They'd have just, yeah, okay, well, we, it's time to go. Like, they're, <laughs> they're going to follow whatever. Yeah, this person admires you. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for your person. I think you've been really trying, you know, this is just a sucky-ass message. Is there anything else I can say? You know, Spirit's already told you what, what will help the suggestion, what will hinder. There's just nothing else I can say, huh? You know what this is about, and it's 34 minutes in. I'm not going to keep going on. I hope it helps you.